episode of 95 Nerds with Robert Swathwood, Corey Urkel, Hiya. Katrina Swathwood, Hello. and our guest this week is Brian Pasifime. You sound like an NPR episode right now. Do I? Very quiet and serene. I don't feel good. Or like, uh, what's the Actors Guild? The, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can't the think of that guy. The I can't think of that guy. What's that guy's name? Whatever. Alec Baldwin? No, the... Now I need to know the name of the guy who interviews the actors that they, between two ferns, makes fun of it. Zach Galifianakis? Yeah. They kind of make fun of it. It's like that all black back screen and it's the, is, is his name James, James something? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. I couldn't think of his name. Finally, okay. some useful information yeah. from Corey. Thank you. <laughs> Other than. He was in Arrested Development for a bit, so. Was he? Yeah. Nice. He had a recurring role as the warden. Huh. He was trying to get a screenplay across. <laughs> No, I just don't feel good. That's why I sound all, all Dopey. Uh, calm. Calm, yeah. No, I mean, I didn't take any drugs other than ibuprofen. But in my mind, attention headache is a brain aneurysm at this point. So everything's it's really worse, fun. Everything's like worst case scenario in my head nowadays. So it's like, it sucks. <laughs> it's not, it's it sucks. true. It's debilitating sometimes. Um, it's not funny. <laughs> It's really not. It's really funny to outsiders looking in, but it's not funny. I, I think agree. it's really fun. I think it's hard to understand from people who uh, haven't experienced like, yeah, everybody has a little anxiety here and there. But when you fucking can't get off the couch or get up because it's so fucking bad. Or you're a hypochondriac. Or you're just so paranoid. All I'm glad the you said time. that. I was going to say hemophiliac, but I knew it wasn't right. No. No, wasn't right. <laughs> no. I've always been worried about being sick, even when I was a kid. But at this point, it's like now that I have kids. It's he like, has cancer. He's like, going to die tomorrow. Yeah. It's like a hundred times worse, like all the time. Just do it. At, just do it on Monday. Yeah, and you won't I, miss Comic Con. No, I can't do it on Monday because that's when we're recording our charity episode. Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. No, at fig- the end we'll we'll record our farewells, and that'll be it. I figure I have to make it till Oliver's eighteen. That's it. It's like thirteen years. Yeah, I know. So like, if I make it thirteen more years, I'll be happy. Katrina, would you well, be happy with thirteen no. more years? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, not that I'm like ever. I don't have the urge to, you know, off myself or anything like that. I don't think I'll ever be at that point. So now that we got you guys all down in the dumps in this very, very, very serious um, kickoff. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah. We should just end it. Okay, we're done. Bye. Yeah, we're done. Uh, I wrote some stuff down. Did you guys? All, did you guys all watch the Nathan Drake thing already? Yeah. No. No. Okay. I saw like a fifty-second clip of it. Corey and I will talk about it then. Uh, did you see the Stranger Things teaser? No. Okay, so there's a Stranger Things uh, season three teaser now. Katrina watched it. It's pretty good. It's like a minute and a half, and it's it's an advertisement for like a 1980s mall. I have to take this off. So is it like nothing really to do with the plot? It's just... The only thing that has it linked to Stranger Things is at the beginning it says Hawkins. Just a second. Well, that's not the only thing. Yeah, just a second. At the beginning it says Hawkins, and then at the very end at... The ice cream parlor called Scoops, Scoops Ahoy. Ahoy. It's Steve in like the uniform, and he says like whatever the slogan there. is. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of good. That's yeah. cool. I yeah. still haven't finished season two. Oh my god! I have like two episodes left, and I just can't find the drive to sit down and actually finish them. Does your why? Just be watch season two and three comes out, and then you're fine. Yeah. What's up? Does your very young girlfriend have you watching like like uh, My Little Pony and no and no. And that's we, a, I think a lot no, of we watched watch the that. first season of Glow on Saturday night. Good stuff, huh? Yeah, it was really entertaining. Good. Yeah, I and, like that uh, show. We're, Michael just left on The Office on playthrough oh. number three. Nice. So that takes up most of our time. Yeah. See, we, we did watch season three of uh, Rick and Morty. Nice. It's good, huh? Yes, it is. Yeah. The Pickle Rick episode got nominated for an Emmy. Good. Yeah, it, it was, was hilarious. Episode. You that's saw awesome. that episode too, didn't you? You haven't seen many, the, but you the saw The one that. where he was in the sewer? Yeah. The one where he's, he's a pickle, Corey. <laughs> yeah, I just he killed a bunch <laughs> of rats. Yeah, I don't he, know how many times he turns into a pickle, to be honest. Just that one. Just that one okay. time. Yeah, it's that one. Um, but that was good. But the uh, the Uncharted thing I want to talk about, and I want to talk about this Die 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 comic that I made you guys read. Um, the significant thing about the Die 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 book is it's it's Robert Kirkman and Scott Gimble, who's the uh, is it Gimble or Gimple? Where's the books right there? Gimple. Okay. Scott Gimple, who was the showrunner for The Walking Dead for the last handful of seasons. Now he's the the uh, executive in charge of The Walking Dead universe on AMC. And uh, 
a lot of people don't like them when this book got announced. This book got announced on Tuesday and it came out on a Wednesday. Which doesn't happen. Which never happens. Usually books are three, four, five months in advance you start seeing them. And the cool thing about this is not only did they do it like that, they're not showing the covers for any future books. You or can, telling you any description yeah. of what the story is going to be. That's cool. I guess the way they sent them out to to comic book stores is they sent them the same amount of those books as they ordered Oblivion Song. Interesting. So, uh, I mean, Oblivion Song was a big deal. I'm sure it's, they sent a lot of So they sent these to all the uh, comic book shops, and now they can order the next issue, which comes out in August. But, yeah, they're not showing the covers for anything. Covers can mean nothing, but they can also be huge spoilers. So it's kind of cool that they're they just dropped this book with no promotion at all. They can do that. They, yeah, I guess so. I mean, they can do what they want. Well, anybody can money. do. Well, I guess not anybody can do anything. No, because putting money behind a project that you don't know if it's going to be successful—that's a high risk. Yeah, I mean, but I think he's a big enough name at this point, don't you? That he can basically just do what he wants. Yeah. Yes. And the thing that was kind of irritating is it, there's. 10 covers if you guys noticed you probably didn't notice the difference between those two covers i do now what is it different words different words so most shops around here was one issue per person the guys next to me were looking at all the issues and they were like i can't figure out the difference i, I was like there's 10 covers nine of them have different words and one just has no word bubbles on the front then there's a gold variation which makes it 11 it's a gold foil cover and at comic-con this week if you buy the set that comes with the action figures there's a silver foil cover so there's 12 covers of that book and you're gonna get all of them aren't you probably i mean uh, i think i'm gonna have to take pictures of those so i have the pictures on me so i can compare them to the other books that i don't have and then add on pictures as you buy them yeah don't forget yeah i think that's the best way to do it it's like disney pens i go to buy them and i can't remember which ones i already have yeah Uh, there's an easy solution to that Stop, don't buy all the covers. Don't buy pins or covers. Shut the fuck up. Just not do it. Or he, he, Brian's... Uh, that way, it's probably Pops. You probably don't remember. All no, I do. No, we're I very do. selective. I think that one would be easier because there's a deal. They're more visual. At a certain point. And they it. have like a nostalgic feel if you buy them. I mean, I'm sure certain people that have, you know, there's people that have thousands. I don't... We have right around 85. So it's not like it's a huge, huge... And we don't buy whole lines. Yeah, I know Either. a lot of people. I used to be like that where I had to buy full lines, but I don't do that anymore. You okay? No. Ah, no. My fucking head is killing me. Um, we'll see if we can squeeze an hour out of this. Uh, Let's try. I completely lost train of thought. Oh, uh, we talking were talking about, about die, 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 die. And we're talking about Uncharted. We haven't talked about that yet. No, he wanted to kick off with die, die, die. Uh, Did I? Yeah. Well, you remember. started talking about you it. You talked about Gimple, and you talked about how they weren't doing any promotions before yeah. the release, and that ever happens. Yeah. What did you guys think of the book? That's interesting. Yeah. It's uh, intriguing. Is I, it like a mix between kind of... I felt it was almost a mix between like James Bond and Archer. Yeah. Because obviously it's got that comedy spin. It's got a little sarcasm. You characters in it. who don't give a shit about murdering people. Yeah. They're more interested in making a, a little quips or yeah. make some jokes. Yeah, I can see that. I enjoyed it. I mean, I'll, I'll, I don't, I think I put it on my pull list at the shop, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I can't remember anything at this point. I like that middle explanation that the woman gives over and over. That was pretty interesting. Oh, the different possibilities on what they could do. They could just, and how somebody. it just adds the layers. But they don't yeah. Do that. yeah. That was really cool. It makes you think a bit. Goes back, goes back, goes back further to make it more effective. I don't, yeah, I didn't mind it at all. That was like Kingsman. You could say, wasn't that they came after Kingsman started working for the government or but they were their own thing and then they protect the world like they regulated everything yeah so i mean almost a james bond but without a government tie of this one did you see the second one or you yeah Yeah. i didn't see that one that's okay it's It's on hbo so i figure i might uh it it has a really awesome cameo that plays out throughout the whole (laughs) movie yeah a celebrity's in it well there's a bunch of celebrities in it Corey. uh one who plays himself Okay. I guess are you gonna watch it so it's whatever it's, it's funny. It's not spoiler freak, but yeah, it's fucking awesome. All right. Because right. there's an actual tie in to a character that he plays in another movie. Or I caught that. Probably people who what movie did he, what, sing. Oh, how he did the song? Yeah. And now he's gonna play him in the biopic. Right. Yeah. 
All right. You don't know Talking in code. It's right. really fun. That's all right. Then I'll, I'll, look, I'll be able to pay attention and look for it and find it out later. Yeah. You'll laugh out loud. The golden I circle. Did. did Robert make you read Die, 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 Katrina? Yes, I read it. He didn't have to make me, though. He kind of just gave it to Corey and I and said, here, do this. And while well, you two were sitting at the laptop. Yeah, that was So fun. it wasn't, wasn't as forceful as he made it out to be. And it was entertaining nonetheless. Well, I had to get caught up. I was behind on Walking Dead and Oblivion Song. And then I read uh, Ryan Otley's uh, spin on Spider-Man. That was fun. That released recently. Last Wednesday. Is it good? It is good. It's really weird because MJ looks just like Adam Eve in some shots, like spot on. And I was like, that's Adam Eve. Because he did Invincible. Right. Okay. Robert told me that the hardcover compendium, the third one for Invincible, is going to be at Comic-Con. So that'll complete my collection. It is. And the first one was on Prime Day today for super cheap. So if you haven't read that comic, we all really like it. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to purchase it. By the time everybody hears this, Prime Day's over. Yeah. What, whatever. It's still good. Just buy the damn book. It is good. Invincible? Mm-hmm. You guys buy anything from Prime Day? Uh, no. Um, I bought a sand disc for my cheap as fuck Switch that I got, if it holds up. Nice. What, Brian the sand disc or the Switch? Both. Brian doesn't buy anything that would clutter up his life. I don't. It's against his. Well, you can do book. digital downloads. I try not on to it, anymore. So that's why I got it. Okay. Stay. Welcome back. If you have a kid, and they do like art projects for you, you're just gonna throw them in the trash. No. Oh my god. What? Are you really doing this to me right now? I did see no. that you cleared off okay. the refrigerator. It, it was a little bit, uh, a little less cluttered than like the last time I was here. Yeah, we cycle through stuff. I mean, as new stuff comes up, we ask, don't keep everything. Yeah, at some point in time, you gotta throw away some stuff. Yeah, like the majority. Dude, I've, I'm pretty sure my mom still has my rat tail from second grade. Yeah, oh m- moms used to do that. We we don't That's do what that. witches do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, speaking it, of witches and pop figures, Spirit has their own exclusive this year. It's the three witches from Hocus Pocus. What's that? Uh, I don't Hocus care. Hocus Pocus? Yeah. I don't like that movie. <laughs> I don't either. I'm a big Halloween person. I don't like Hocus Pocus. You don't like a couple movies that everyone likes. Goonie. Well, I don't dislike about. Goonies. I just it's think not, it's, it's overrated. overrated. Uh, hocus pocus yeah i never liked that movie i don't know what it is i'd rather watch witches yeah that's not like a feel-good movie that's like a fucking scar you for life movie yeah <laughs> it's pretty right. terrifying yeah have, have you ever seen witches brian no Do they turn the kids into rats no that's so much fun is, that the, is it uh Angelica Angelica Houston. Houston's in yeah. That. Yeah. i've seen the cover when i worked uh, at blockbuster but i don't remember creepy. the witches gather at a hotel they have in like a conference but behind closed doors they take off they all wearing wigs they're all bald and they all have fucking they I don't know if they pull off their fake noses and they have long noses underneath. I don't remember. It's been a long time. It's been really long. No, but they're, they're they like they're yeah. all like horrifying. They transform basically. They have like uh, their noses grow and they take off their wigs and yeah, and they gross. smell children and they want to uh, just kill them. I don't remember. They hate kids. I can't remember. I've seen it what? probably half a dozen times too, but it's been I quite a while. It all the time. So they turn two little kids into. So basically, half the movie is like Stuart Little. They turn two kids into mice and they have to get back to. I've never seen Stuart Little. Uh, it's like a uh, little mouse in the motorcycle. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> what was that called? Is that Stuart Little? It is. No, the mouse in the motorcycle? Stuart oh, there's Little? another one? No, it was, it was like some 80s movie. Mouse it Little? Like, Stuart Mouse. It's like the same thing, a little mouse. Little Mouse. <laughs> Curious George. Secret of Nim. I'm pretty sure it's actually George called the something on the motorcycle. Father Goes West. Indian in the Cupboard. Yeah, but this is live action. Indian in the Cupboard was live action. It yeah, was. was. No mice. <laughs> There might have been mice. I don't know. I, I had Honey, to watch I shrunk a, the kids. I had to watch a movie in class a bunch Honey, of times. Honey, I blew up the kids. I always hated Indian in the cupboard. Indian in the cupboard? Yeah. I like it more than I like Hocus Pocus, but it's probably because I read all the books. How many books are there? Like three or four. Ooh. There Speaking was, of nostalgic old childhood Goosebumps cartoons. Too? I watched that trailer. she I didn't watch. That was the Netflix show, right? Yeah, I, I believe watch so. that one. No, I Rugrats got reordered? I saw that. Am I going to keep going? Did you they can't. hit it yet? Are they no, going to be no, adults no. and they're going to have their own kids? I heard there's a live action Rugrats and they're ordering new cartoons of Rugrats. I think oh the movie's God. live action. Interesting. How? But that would be like, uh, like look who's talking now stuff or. So yeah, John Travolta's really, going to be in it? That really dates us. Isn't there a more recent live action like Baby's Day Out? Remember that shit? No. There's Baby Geniuses. That one. That's what I was trying is to this get. Movie? Horrible movie. <laughs> Is this, is this movie about I've the babies that are geniuses? I remember watching it a couple times. Like it is bad. Like you watch, look who's talking. It's a, I, I get that got panned, but that's a fine decent. Oh, movie to if watch you it. give them, if you give a mouse a cookie, 
Is that what it's a sequel of? No, I, it's I just know. a different book. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure, there's That's, plenty of books this about is the mice. Movie. Oh, it, like Puff the Magic Dragon? It says, yeah, DVD. Do you remember Puff the Magic Dragon? Uh, I remember the song "Lived by the Sea," and I remember it from Meet the Parents. I I had you I had high Fokker. I had that on the VHS. I love Puff the Magic Dragon. Kind of reminded me of uh, Where the Wild Things Are. I never saw that movie though. The new one? Yeah. What was there was only one, right? I mean, yeah, there was a newer one. Good trailer. Not a very good movie. Did yeah. you watch the movie? Yeah, I remember watching. I don't remember shit about it now. It's kind of sad. I remember watching the first part of it. Well, wasn't the book kind of? I mean, it wasn't sad, but it was like the book or the movie. The book. I don't remember well, the book. Wasn't the book it's my the kid's kid? Daily yeah, routine. the kid was just the kid and his mom were like fighting, and then he like started to dream and thought that he got taken away to uh, an island where the wild things are. I think it had a happy ending. It did. He got back to his mom. I think the movie had kind of a dark tone, which wasn't really a kid's movie. Which yeah. is interesting. Although, if you tried to make like The Giving Tree into a into a movie, that have, shit's dark. Yeah. Have you ever read The Giving Tree from Shel Silverstein? Yeah, back in the day. Do you have you ever read it, Brian? I'm sure I have. It's basically, the kid plays in the tree when he's a kid. Is that as he gets older, he uses the tree to build his house long term, and then it's just like the tree's stump. a stump, and then the old man, the kid, is an old man and comes sits on the stump. I mean, it's like he takes everything he can from the tree. Fucking people. Oh, that guy's uh, an asshole. Speaking of old things, did you see a trailer for um, the Nutcracker? Yes. Yes, we saw it in theaters. I mean, have you think? seen Ant Man yet? Yeah. Okay. So I was like, "What the hell?" Parts of it seemed interesting. It's like they're trying to do Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. With a different medium. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm... the parts where they were like battling and stuff seemed pretty cool, like the uh, different like contraptions and stuff. But it seems pretty far fetched that they're taking. The story. The story. Yeah. And, and Snow Rat King or... So I was like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, down. I, I Where, know. And then Dumbo played right after. I'm like, I'm down for that. What did? Dumbo trailer. Oh. oh which yeah. I'd seen before. Yeah, I don't... I'm not hip to that either. I'm... I love Dumbo. I, I'm in. Really? Yeah. Out of all the live action Disney movies... Like, I, I haven't seen it yet, but... Jungle Book was great. It was. Like, I had interest in that, but I had no interest in like Maleficent or... The Cinderella. Jungle Book was the first Beauty one that I've Beast. seen. I might see Lion King, depending on how it does. You not see any of the ones? Maleficent, no. Cinderella? I guess I saw Alice in Wonderland. Does that count? Yeah. Okay. Beauty then. and the Beast? Yeah, yeah, I guess I did. I haven't seen that yet. I don't know which one I've seen first. Beauty and the Beast is on Netflix. It's average. I mean, it's... It's okay. It's okay. I, d- I don't think that Emma Watson did anything but talk sing the entire time. Like yeah. she, she She didn't hold very many notes, I guess. I just think they wanted her to be Belle so badly that they fit her into that position. Yeah. Well, she brings an audience. What's she going to do? Before I forget, if anybody wants to go see Meg when it comes out, I want to go see it. When does it come out? I think it comes out next month. I make it a habit not to see shark movies in theaters. You don't like seeing anything that could possibly scare you in theaters. I feel like that's not true. I watched it. Go watch Hereditary. You didn't watch it in theaters. That's true. Uh, you just didn't want to watch it. We watched A Quiet Place. I think that's the last scary movie I saw in theaters. That was really good. It was really good. Except, I think I talked about this on here. It was a poor choice to go to like a fancy theater where they serve food and stuff in the theater because since the movie is so quiet, signif- I mean, a huge portion of the movie doesn't have any sound. So you just heard crunching the whole so time? So you heard people like cutting food on plates and picking up wine glasses and <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. It was frustrating. Where'd you go? a lot nice theater i've only been to sinopolis oh the lots a much 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 better uh situation the theaters are nicer the food is way better okay it's just if you were to go to one i wouldn't go to la jolla because the people out there are all obnoxious obnoxious did you talk about that when you went and the kids yes but they have one in liberty station i believe and i would go there the food is really good i had like a uh like this spicy Italian sausage with peppers, flatbread thing. It was like the food. The, you, I wouldn't be surprised if people go there just to go to the restaurant. It was you that sit good. at the bar during happy hour, not at a table. Yeah, because your happy hour doesn't apply to tables. It applies to the bar seating only, which I think is stupid. But never heard of that. <laughs> that's my own opinion. That's dumb. Yeah, it is. Uh, Uncharted. Uh, Brian and Katrina haven't seen it, uh, and you watch it. Yeah, I watched it. Are you surprised I watch it since it was like 15 minutes long and I don't watch that kind of shit? Uh, Considering it's Uncharted and it's Nathan Fillion, no. 
I would hope you would have watched it as soon as you saw it. It was up. excellent. Yeah, like I wonder how much money went into that. Because I, when you hear fan film, it could be anything from $5 yeah. to a couple thousand. Or I mean, if they hired, what's the villain guy from? So the villain guy from Avatar is in it too. What's his name? Yeah. I can't think Stephen of Stephen Lang. Yes, yeah. thank you. He was playing Sully. And <laughs> Greg. Uh, Kinnear. No, Greg. I just look, I just saw his name. You guys aren't going to know who he is. Uh, cool. You will. Will I? Yeah, it was Chayton. Oh, yay. Yeah. I like him. So the guy, the big guy that was in it, he's he has a really, really, really deep voice. Who's What's he from? The guy uh, that, oh, his, his name's Gino Se- Seegers. He's in commercials too. He's in Allstate. he's in a couple commercials and stuff, but he's uh he was one of the main villains in Banshee and he's got that really deep like Yeah. Allstate voice. Yeah. But it I mean he's not the Allstate voice. It's that's a <laughs> I don't know which one it is, but he's on an insurance yeah. carrier. He's it's it's He's in a truck. He was a military member, so it was anyways, he, he was really he was like uh in yeah. Native American in Banshee. Okay. And he was just a really good villain and I heard that voice and I was like, Oh cool like nice. I was excited he was in it. No, spoiler wise, Nathan Fillion's being tortured the first like third of it. Oh, your boy's in it, the little muscular guy. You mean uh, Kino from Ninja Turtles Two? What's his name in real life? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it, Wait, what? Eddie something? The little the La Tigre. The Tigre or whatever his yeah. name. Yeah, the Tiger. Yeah, something. Yeah, that was something a guy from Junior Ninja Turtles Two. Yeah, something. He was sort of the rundown. Yeah, he was in the rundown as well. But it wasn't the guy from Ninja Turtles too. Same guy, the main character. Well, no. the, the kid, the ninja kid. Yeah. Was it? Kino. That wasn't him. Well, we're gonna look. We're gonna find out. What is like a what's Spanish the bet? Dude? What's the bet? Yeah, and Cliff Curtis is Maori, but he still plays. He, <laughs> Maori's can play anything. I gotta find it. Uh, but Nathan Fillion's funny. He's getting tortured and. Caused- Ernie Reyes Jr. That guy. Yeah, he that was he was in that yeah Kino Ninja Turtles. You learned something today, Corey. Boom. He was in the he the was like, El Tigre? Yeah. He with the orange hair? Really? Yeah. Life wow. shattered. I know him from Surf Ninjas. That's a movie I grew up watching. Well, I, I did watch Teenage Mutant Mutant Ninja Turtles too, but uh that's interesting. I have to watch that again now. I didn't recognize him. So it's played for laughs. They're gonna bring out some guy who's gonna torture Nathan Feely and he's getting all scared and this little five foot dude comes in, he's like, Oh, thank God. You guys are just messing with me. You know what I really did like? Is I was like, uh, what, what do you want to eat, little boy? Or something? When they show him running, they do the over-the-shoulder like camera angle. Even when he was shooting. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of cool. And the, So he just escapes from this mansion. He finds something he needs after he gets out of the... I'm wondering if it's one of those things like Deadpool, where obviously it's a fan film and stuff, but they've got significant actors. And even the girl that played... His love interest. I've seen her in other stuff before as well. Okay, I didn't know her either. Uh, I've I've seen her in and I can't remember what I've seen her in. Uh oh. But yeah, my brain's not working properly. Uh, but she's in stuff too. So I'm wondering if it's like when they leaked that Deadpool footage, it gained in popularity. I wonder if this gets enough hits that Crazy Sony buzz. will finally be like, hey, maybe not Nathan Fillion, but just getting it in off the ground. Off the ground. If it's not Nathan Fillion, I'd be disappointed. He's not a big enough. I mean, as much as I like Nathan Fillion, I know he's you not have to make it for that much money now. But it's a blockbuster. I mean, it's one of the most popular PlayStation games. You'd have to put some cinema. Like I didn't, cash. I didn't like Mark Wahl. The idea of Mark Wahl. Yeah. Oh wait, Tom Holland is Nathan Drake. Is he? Yeah, he's been Nathan Drake for quite a while now. What? Like yeah, that. they cast him a while back. Uh, I was like, how much money do you think I spent on Tomb Raider, the new one? Anyway, a lot. Do you think I spent? I bet you eighty to a hundred million. Easy. How about I'm easy? just taking a guess. Producer Katrina. Sure, I'll get on it. You know what we watched for the first time? Because uh, the kids want to see Hotel Transylvania three. We haven't seen it yet, but we saw the first two. They're actually pretty decent movies. I like them. Pretty funny. We're all looking at our phones. You're talking about the blonde girl in this Nathan Drake movie? Yeah. She was on an episode of How I Met Your Brother, but that's I don't probably re- what I know. Her from. I don't recognize her from anything else, and I barely recognize her from that show. Which episode? Mm, I don't know, but it was a good. It was a good short. I liked it. Yeah, I'd be okay if they did, you know, five or ten more of those. That would be cool. and just did internet shorts. I mean, that's more his speed. What's his biggest movie? Nathan Fillion. Yeah. Fucking Corey! Come on, man. <laughs> 
I'll tell you in a second. I didn't say anything when you hit yours. I know, it didn't pick up as much. <laughs> Dunk. Once you get headphones, you'll be able to hear what we're talking about. Yeah. His, uh, well, you're going to have to eventually. Uh, Firefly, Serenity is his biggest movie. That sucks. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he, like I said, he's not a huge. He's in two big shows. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm looking. He's in The Rookie right now. Um, seven episodes of Modern Family. He's a he's a TV show guy. Ninety million dollars. Oh hey, I was spot on. Really? Yep. I hope they made it back. They didn't know. <laughs> that was me that time. All time world, yeah. I wanted to watch Con Man, but it seemed it seemed like it was so difficult to figure out how to how to watch get it. Yeah. Uh, domestic, it only made a little bit over fifty seven million dollars. Bust. Like I'm looking at his his stuff, Corey, and he is not. It did much better overseas. I can hear you drinking that. That's okay. The water is the uh, element of life. essence of purity. What is it? The essence of moisture. Moisture is the essence of beauty. <laughs> nice. Merman. Merman, Dad. What, what's <laughs> people's with people and the word moist? How oh, they don't like it? It's yeah. Weird. Moist. I think it came from something. It was on How I Met Your Mother. Yep. Was it? Lily yeah. hated yeah, it. Yeah, Lily didn't yeah, like but, it. Oh, and, it, and Barney was just like moist. Mm-hmm. Moist. Moist. During his one man show? I can't think of a word other than like the C word. And even that, I mean, it's it's tough to. Maybe we're just all so desensitized now towards everything. But moist. One of the ladies that I used to work with at Home Depot said panties was one of those words that really. Made you uncomfortable? Made her uncomfortable. Not me. I don't oh. care. Uh, I don't have anything else. That was it. Comic Con's here. Brian and I are going downtown tomorrow. We had to fit an episode in. You can tell my enthusiasm. I don't feel good. Is this our th- third year in a row doing a podcast before Comic Con? Yeah, but I mean, since we're going to be doing so much stuff uh, next week when we do post stuff, that I'm not like I'm not super big on. On I mean, they did a lottery this year. That was different. That was kind of cool for signings. Yeah, for, well, everything, for everything, for a lot of things. Well, I'm not everything, but a lot of stuff. A lot of important stuff. Yeah. Um. Uh, the smoking gun. You wanted to talk about? Oh that? yeah, we got to talk about the smoking gun. Did oh, you hear so. about this? So the smoking gun uh, is a restaurant slash bar downtown, and the Monday after Comic Con, they were having a. Uh, they put up an event on their Facebook. That was uh, Geeks Be Gone, No Geeks Allowed, and they were giving discounts to people that weren't geeks and and uh, say No Geeks Allowed, and, and their their rating went from a 4.7 to a 2.2 online in like three days, and the event got taken down. And Well, the event was taken down within like 15 minutes. No, it was longer than that. It was? Because it went up at night, so it had lasted that night oh. and all through the morning. I noticed after it was mentioned on Twitter, it was down within like 25 yeah, minutes. Yeah, the SDCC unofficial group posted it and said, here's where to not spend your money. And then uh, everybody went up there, and I'm, oh. I'm sure that their reviews will be restored because when, when people yeah. get hit with that many bad reviews, they kind of course correct. Cyberbullying type thing. But, uh, yeah, they took a huge hit. And it doesn't take much for restaurants to close downtown. Restaurants are always closing. If if you piss off enough people... You done. Depends how good the food is. Mm. I don't know. I've been to some pretty damn good places downtown that have closed. Yeah. Hmm. Like, do Pars is supposed to be this fantastic place, and it closed really fast. Like, if you re- if you replace Nerd with uh, how many other things <laughs> would it be? Jocks. Jocks be gone. Jews be gone. Whatever you wanted to replace it with. I mean, if you're discriminating against any sort of people, those people are going to be like... Coming for you. What the fuck? And, and me reading it, I knew it was a joke. But still, it's like... Why? Why? It's Why? a very bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, promotion. Or if manager. even then, like, they're, the goal being to serve the people that were... Core customers? Were, well, it was it, from my understanding, full disclosure, I have a family member that works there. He explained to me that it was a promotion to basically, like, like celebrate the end of Comic-Con so all the employees in downtown could come and get like stuff off like percentages off food and drinks so it would it was worded like, very poorly it was oh yeah it was terrible but it was supposed to be a, like a celebratory like okay it's over we survived yeah exactly and it was really really bad if they wanted to get the name out there they did a couple thousand more people know the name of that business now than 
Yeah, and, possibly and, avoid it though. And then a lot more people are going to go to those review sites and see how many bad reviews there are instead of. The problem is they didn't put any context in the reviews. They just said, I'm not spending my money here. Which, oh, no. If you read the reviews on Facebook, there was paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs. I read written. some of them. The ones I, I read didn't have any content oh, to them. Oh, maybe those were the later ones because the ones at the beginning. People, they want to write paragraphs about it? Yeah. Some people get this is the internet. Shy. People get really offended and yeah. take a tirade. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not any different than any other sort of... Uh, Social media. So funny. Blasts. Big I, mistake, though. The thing is, is, I'm a local. I drink downtown. I'm not offended but I'm not going to, I mean, it's more of somebody being an absolute moron. I'm not going to go there. I have no desire to go there at this point. I have places I like downtown. That we always go to. Yeah. That I can probably get us comp food if we go. No, I'm still not going to go. But if you want to, if you're listening, and this will come out during Comic-Con. If you want to go to a place that's not going to have a line, you yeah. can go to Smoking Gun. Where is it at exactly? Because uh, it's not close. No, it is. It's off 6th and Island. Okay, oh, yeah, that's yeah. not that far. That's no. walking. Good deal. I yeah. kind of want to walk by it during Comic Con and Just see what's to see going what on. See what it's like. I'll, I'm going. I'm going to visit my person. So, and you don't think all like how many people go to Comic Con? Fifty thousand. Fifty. It's a hundred and sixty thousand. So you don't think a hundred sixty thousand people know about that place? I guarantee you they don't. Yes. But I guarantee you there's going to be multiple people there at some point standing outside of it the like sign. they with like they do with the signs down at convention center saying, don't spend your money here. Some people have entirely too much time on their hands. And I guarantee you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guarantee you there'll be somebody down like there. Making the and, counter protest boycotting. signs. And I'm sure people will still be walking in ignoring them just like you do with the other people. Yeah. I. But the thing is, is it, it's it's literally got the tension of. Of uh, the SDC badge holders group that has hundreds of thousands of members, the badge holders group which has thousands of members. I mean, a huge chunk of people know about it. That it was it was like all over Twitter, and and if half the people that were gonna go aren't gonna go, it, regardless of people are still gonna go, but they're not gonna make yeah. as much money as they would have before. Hey, if they don't got a line. It'll be a nice place to stop and get food. Check it out. I still wouldn't go there, and I won't go there. <laughs> period. Out of principle. Yeah, it's just. I mean. It's like people who want to watch the Star Wars movies out of principle. It's just stupid. It's just. <laughs> I agree. It was kind of dumb. What? The Last Jedi. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I, I have no desire to go there now. And the only pl- reason I had ever heard it before was because of Brian. It's not like it's some, you know, place that everybody's telling me I need to go there to try the food. Yeah, I don't really eat downtown too much, so. Yeah, what do you take, like bologna sandwiches? Yeah, I really don't care. They can live or die. I don't know. Especially now. But you're gonna t- what are you going to take? you going to like pack a backpack full of food? I don't know. Uh, probably not. I'll probably eat before and after. You're probably going to sh- get down there until like noon. Yeah. yeah. You're probably going to show up late I'm not, and leave uh, early now. like open to close. Is this your last year, you think? What, permanently? Yeah. Or you think you just go like one or two days from the future? I don't know. We'll see. Why would you not go all days? Because his girlfriend doesn't want him to go. Why? Why? Why are you still in this relationship? Because <laughs> <laughs> they love each other. Okay, I understand. Uh, for a long time, I haven't gone open to close. So now all... you just t- t- lean days off. Did you do that? He didn't open go last Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, but he you didn't, didn't go, go Sunday last year. Last year, or the year before. Who? You. Two years ago, okay. I didn't go. Last year, I did. Yeah, uh, two years ago, I ran that. Yeah, 5k and then i was like i'm going up to a but i mean us doing what we do is the same thing as you showing up late we go when it opens and then we take a break in the middle of the day and then we come yeah. back and we don't stay till the floor closes i don't remember buying anything last year maybe i bought some comics but i don't i was like the first few years i think i bought like sh- oh my god i can buy uh-huh. a fucking replica sword or something i buy i buy the exclusives to f- from skybound to fill my collection and uh the boys will buy some stuff but I've toned my stuff way down too. I mean, my toned down stuff, I'll still spend three or four hundred bucks. But you spend that at Skybound. Yeah, and, and I mean that's pretty much the only place I buy anything. I'm trying to think if there's anything. We'll buy artwork sometimes. I gotta get my Scotty Young pins this year. Yeah. Ugh. We gotta go to the Marvel booth right away. That's gonna be a lot of money. Um. Did anything? Anybody bring anything? I'm gonna edit this episode way down. You didn't see the Aquaman poster? Yeah. Yeah, it actually looked kind of cool. I like that it had. You know, I've always never been, like, always never, I've always never. 
Always. Great white sharks are scary, but I never thought hammerheads. I mean, they look cool, but they seems like their mouths are so much smaller than like a regular shark. Like it would like have to take so many line. small bites out of you to uh, to take you out, you know? Uh-huh. I didn't see it. So what's got hammerheads in it? It's just a picture of Aquaman sit, like kneeling on a chair or a throne or a stone, and there's all these great whites and orcas and hammerheads behind him, and that's about it. Okay. I know that orcas don't get as much play as like great white sharks, but orcas are way more dangerous than great whites. You ever see that? There was a video online of a orca just like tearing through a great white. I think I did see that. Not it was only a while are, back though, wasn't it? Not only are they, they're, uh, I mean, I think both the animals are made out of like pure muscle, right? But orcas are just way smarter. Yeah. They're the top, they're the top dog in the ocean, right? They don't have any natural I They do predators. not have any natural predators. I think technically they're not also a dog. I could be wrong. I have to look into it. I'll Google it. Can you Google it? Yeah, it says here. Here. Oh, they are dog. No. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna. <laughs> you, they are a direct descendant of Dalmatians. <laughs> you've seen like, you've seen like really terrible questions on like Yahoo, right? Yeah. Are orcas dogs? Uh Nobody's ever asked it. Different orca pods in different regions have their own preferred diets, none of which include humans or dogs. Oh, good. It said, are orcas smarter than dogs? That was the closest Uh-oh. question. Not too often a dog wanders into the middle of the ocean. I always thought that dogs laid eggs. And I <laughs> learned something today. <laughs> Sorry, it's not very often I quote uh, family guy. It's not. Katrina won a sign-in in the lottery. Did we talk about that? No, we Comic-Con? didn't. No. Nah. Did Lego DC supervillains? That's nice. Yeah, so Tara Strong's going to be there. Kevin Conroy's going to be there. I was hoping Mark Hamill was going to be there, but he's not. Too busy. Uh, but I, I think the head of Telltale Games is going to be there and some other people. Kind of cool. I'll take the kids. Let them do it. Yeah, absolutely. Friday's going to be busy for us. We've got huh. a lot to do. That's the Skybound Insiders meeting. She's got a signing. We've got fun days. It's going to be a long night. I bought a green bow tie to wear. You did. It's very fancy. I thought you had a whole suit. I he do. Does. And a green bow tie. And a green shirt. And a green undershirt and a mullet wig. Green undies? Uh, I don't think I have any green undies. Hmm. Need one. Why? He's not showing them. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, just you going to give me an extra Freddy Funko? Maybe I will show my underwear. Give him a little bit of the whale tail. Yikes. I'm going to wear a thong. I'm going to wear a green thong. Monty. You had mentioned the... Uh, the pure muscle orca and and great white did you see the video of the lion holding the three yes. bodybuilders yes that shit was ridiculous have you seen that very frightening nah. it's a lion holding a rope in its mouth and the rope is going out of his cage to the outside and three like bodybuilders are trying to pull it i think you told me about that and they're trying to pull it and it's not the lion's not even flexing it's just lion's holding. like nope <laughs> you're not going anywhere yeah, she's kind of sitting back and then but there's yeah it's nothing and then you think about those three poachers that got Eaten, Wrecked. killed, yeah, killed and eaten out in Africa. Well deserved, in my opinion. But uh, I, I don't mean, want to see anybody die. But they were out there to kill things that were being protected. Yeah. So it's really, it's like they should have got that dentist. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That was like three years ago now, wasn't it? George Romero died a year ago today. Oh, oh. yeah. Is he a zombie yet? Oh, uh, it seems like it. Sometimes it's like that person's been dead for that long, and this one seems like it. It should have been longer, doesn't it? I don't know if it's just because he was older but it seems like it happened quite a while ago yeah we have a uh, a movie anniversary this week also oh 30 years of die hard no that's not what i was talking oh, about die hard's 30 year anniversary was either today or yesterday oh cool i yeah. think it was yesterday i i didn't watch the roast but did you see that demi moore came out to roast bruce willis during his uh he had a roast? roast yeah. yeah and it looked i like i don't watch roast but I that one looked it. like i wanted to i, I wanted to watch it. i watch a lot of them i, I like them i'm surprised he put i i had no idea i don't, I don't have cable so i had no idea there was roast i didn't think he had the kind of temperament to right sit back and fucking be jabbed at i didn't either but he did i mean i seen some headline where i said he didn't think Die Hard's a christmas movie yeah i don't know if that puts an end to it or if he's the final word i think the director would be the person or the guy who wrote the book yeah but just because i mean I would you would have to talk to somebody that read the book, but I I don't know if the book has as many Christmas references or did they just put that in there. I don't know. It could have just been a twist on the movie. Yeah. I heard that uh, that skyscraper movie paid a lot of uh, respect to Die Hard. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
I haven't watched a lot of rock movies. I watched about two thirds of San Andreas. I don't think any of them are going to be great, but most of them are going to be like fun, yeah. as Alan would say, fun popcorn movies. This was just like, okay, it's like 2012, Day After Tomorrow. Okay. I really liked Jumanji. Like, I thought it was fun. You didn't like it? I, I did not like it. You know what I watched? You did not like it. it? I'm just too stuck on the, the original. And I, I had read that they were paying a homage to Robin Williams' character, and they just mentioned him like very briefly. What well, said yeah. Alan Parsons was here. Alan Parsons, that's not right. Parrish. No. Alan Al- Parrish. Alan used Parsons to live here. Project. Uh, yeah. And it was said by a Jonas brother, and then that was it. And I was just kind of, I wanted more. Get out of the past. You need to let things go and let things out of your life that are going to hold you back, I'm right? Tr- I'm, I'm trying. I'm six years late to it, but I watched a movie okay. on the weekend, and I really liked it. Okay. Well, was it something that I like? I don't know. I don't remember if you liked it. Okay. Go ahead. It's a found footage movie. Uh, is it Chronicle? Yeah. I liked it. Like, yeah. the first a third, I'm like, okay. And then it starts ramping up, and by the end of it... I'm surprised that you're okay with the explanation that towards the end of it, he was just controlling the camera. That's I like that a lot. Oh, did you? Wait, because it it's always a concept. That's a cop-out, is what it is. And that's, but it made sense in the context of the movie. But I like, like the movie. I'm like, not... There's always a concept. You have to figure out, like, why would they be recording this? Why, you know? But by the end, when he has... A lot of it just switches to security camera footage. Footage. I'm trying to say it right. Nice. And, but then he's holding a bunch of cell phones and they're spinning around and we get all the different angles. I'm like, okay, that's sick. Isn't Michael B. Jordan in that? Yeah. He was. Yeah. And then the uh, eventual Green Goblin from Amazing yeah. Spider-Man 2. Yeah. I like how he just put on like the firefighter suit and I was like, oh, that's like a super villain outfit. That guy is just creepy. But they never have to reference that they're superheroes in any way in the whole movie. I don't think it's said. Doesn't he? He kills one of them, doesn't he? Hmm. Doesn't he kill one of the three of it? It happens to the three friends. He right? accidentally. I you can't tell if he's controlling, but lightning strikes Michael B. Jordan. And then accidentally, he tries to drop his father when he finds out his mom died when he's in the hospital, and he fucking just blows up the hospital and then starts flying around hurling shit. I'm like, that's so fucking cool. That's yeah, been. I haven't watched it in quite a while. I've only seen it the one time, but I liked it when I watched it. I wanted to see it when it came out, and I waited this long. I think I bought it last Black Friday. What do you think? Of Ant- Have you seen Ant Man yet? Yeah, I saw it on last Friday. Did you yeah. like it? I like it a lot. It was good, huh? I couldn't place where I knew the lady from, the villain. What did you know her from? <laughs> uh, oh, the girl. I thought you meant Michelle Pfeiffer. From, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? She from Star Wars. Not that more. No, she. Well, she was something in Star Wars. When I looked up, uh, she was in. Um, What's the Spielberg movie we just watched? Uh, the book. Ready Player One. Yeah, Maybe she that. was a lady cop trying to go after or. Whatever she was. Okay. Lady agent. All right. You're right. Yeah. But she also, she had a role in uh, Black Mirror. And I, was, I saw a picture of her and I was like, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Wasn't that a fu- That movie, that whole movie was upbeat. And then that post credit scene was just fucking slapped you right in the face. We knew it was, knew coming, it was coming. yeah. But it, <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to be the after credit or the mid credit. And yeah. Fuck. The after credit was probably one of the worst after credit scenes. Yeah, because we were like, oh, that was it? Yeah. But there, there, I don't really have much to complain about in that movie. It was fun. It was just a fun... I like uh, the villains weren't bad people. Yeah. For once. There's... Although, uh, I thought his name was Walter Goggins. What is it? It's not Walter. It's uh... it's Walter Coggins. I, mean, I don't think it's... it's <laughs> is not... that it? Isn't that... I thought it was Goggins. I'm going to look. But it. I don't think it's Walter. I thought it was Walter. And when I looked at his name in the credits, I was like, I thought it was Walter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I like him and everything he's in. He was, but, but he was he was kind of irrelevant to the the progression of the story. No, he's a little side villain. Yeah, but when you don't have a main villain, like you said, the bad guys weren't really bad uh, guys. Bill Foster, that's his name. Goliath. Goliath. Whatever. Um, oh, and name? like yeah. The I can't remember. That's the character's name, Bill Foster. Bill Foster. The are you talking about? You're saying Goliath. Yeah. I don't remember. Morris Fishburne's character? Yeah. I don't remember. Walton. So yeah, there you go. Walton. Walton Goggins. Yeah. So oh, I got their last name right. That's weird. That sounds more like a character than the name of an actor. It's probably a stage name. Well, that's how I... Like, when I first heard of Benedict Cumberbatch, I thought that was his... I thought that was the character he's played name and not his actual you name. Know, <laughs> you know Michael Keaton's real name, right? I'm sure I've read it at some point. It's Michael Douglas. Nice. Ah. Yeah. 
But there was I, I read something about it one time where not only was Michael Douglas a very famous actor, but Michael Douglas is also a porn star. So there was nice. multiple people in Hollywood already using that name. Uh, they had to de-ageify a couple people, Michelle Pfeiffer and Marvel has set the standard there because Lawrence Fishburne it, looked excellent. It, it's uh, remarkable. Like I don't know how they do it. I, I Kurt was, Russell and I Guardians. They, they stand in for themselves, but I don't know if they get like images from certain movies and just overlay it. I don't know. The process must be pretty cool. I heard that uh, they'll use reference point reference points from like uh, like Kurt Russell and and Michael Douglas have been in movies since they were kids almost. Yeah. So they I think I want to say they used what's the it's, it's Wall Street right? Yeah. They want they use Wall Street as a reference you to. Think they use Pee Wee for Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> Cowboy Curtis. You know what's funny is uh, before this episode drops, an episode that was previously unrecorded will unrecorded previously unreleased. And unedited is going to be talked uh, posted. We talked about Pee Wee Herman and Cowboy Curtis. Nice. Yeah. Way to bring it back. Yeah. Full circle. Uh, I like that his character was such a good guy. He actually said, no, don't touch the kid. Yeah. If you touch the kid, we're fucking done. Yeah. And I was like, the, how often does a bad guy, like bad guy in quotes, stand up for like innocence? How much would you like as a kid to have that maze in your attic? That must have taken fucking forever. Like I like that. how he learned it was magic. The whole house. Yeah, he learned magic and stuff. I mean, it was yeah. all all pretty good. Uh, the guy who stole the show, I thought was the uh, Asian uh, Asian Jim. Agent. He's the, Asian Jim. Yeah, he's Asian Jim. He was uh, Kim Jong Un. In was he the interview? He played. Uh, he yeah. was in one of Jim's pranks in the office. Was he just an episode? Yeah, yeah. what he did was... Is He's an actor. He came in, and instead of Jim coming in, this guy came in and said he was Jim, and Dwight was like freaking out, and he's like, no, this is Jim, and he held up a picture of like Jim's Asian. family, and it's him with, with Pam. Pam, and they have Asian kids. That's funny. Uh, ever You'd since probably you, really like The Office if you ever sat down I'm and sure watched it. Ever since the interview, I was like, that guy is funny as shit, and he had a couple small roles ever since, but he was in this movie quite a lot, and yeah. every scene he was in, he was, he good. was like the best character. It was like uh, Michael... Michael Pena? Pena stealing the show in the first one. Although I'm glad they gave him his same like routine thing again. Yeah, the quick talk. Yeah. Like, oh no, you get the whole flashback. story. You can't go forward. I got the biggest laughs in the movie. Yeah, theater. I got a I got a question for you, Brian, because we were watching uh, Parks and Rec. I hate to just jump and find, but my brain's a mess today. Uh, do you like The Office better than you like Parks and Rec? Be honest. Uh oh. I think The Office is a better show. I might like Parks and Recreation more. And I and the more that I've watched The Office, the more you realize how much better uh, it is. Steve Carell, no, like, how I, much Steve Carell carried that show. I would think the exact opposite. You really? See, I, I watch it and I'm like, this show is like he was the focal point of pretty much every episode, and his antics are what made me very uncomfortable watching it. Whereas I like I watch Parks and Rec. I just I just I don't know. I enjoy it a little. I bit I think more. Parks and Rec is funnier. There's more like laugh out loud stuff, mm-hmm. but the characters. And the story in general isn't of, as deep. It's not nearly as deep. No, it isn't. And uh, the office is way better. Yeah. And I think that there was. I mean, Ron Swanson's the best character in Parks and Rec. I think. Arguably, uh, yes. Uh, Rob Lowe's really good in it. Uh, but almost every single character in in a. Uh, you know what? Damn it! I have an office-related thing that I want to talk about during the charity episodes, you but I can't do it. The character who looks just like Steve in Stranger Things. I can't remember. In what show? Is it Parks and Rec? Or is it not? Oh, John. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What oh. The, 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 John, I, John, uh, John Ralphio. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know him from a couple like online videos back in. the Well, he's the, a comedian. The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but. I always thought when Stranger Things came on, that guy looked like him. Or a little bit. I mean, he's way taller and thinner, I guess. But yeah. So do you did you not see a video of them like together at all? No. After, okay. After season one, they did like a couple of funny videos together where they, people make it was an internet like theory that the characters are related because they're actually in the same state, whatever wherever part. Indiana. Is. Yeah, and that they one depending on the timeline, one might be so the Jean Ralphio, whatever his name is. Is Hawkins a real cousin? place? Might be his son. Pawnee isn't. I don't think Hawkins is either. But Scranton is. Yes. That's why it's a better show. Okay. <laughs> I uh, I think my I've watched The Office through six times now. But who's counting? Roughly. Robert is. You watch uh, it roughly? Roughly, yeah. Well, it's really? a it's a background show. 
you you alternate what 50 percent of the time between friends in the office no it's it's way more office now <laughs> okay what's up oh no i'm just is hawkins a real up. place i'm looking at uh it's just there's more care i mean the jim and pam story i think is what ended up it, it, i mean that was the, the yeah the whole show the will they but I, I i was i can't remember what i was listening to it was an interview with somebody but they said that uh nothing could be the majority of the show each episode where if like michael was 50 percent of the show this time he would be less than 50 percent next time and they would never focus too much on comedy or too much on jim or too much on michael they'd always bounce around and that's why all the characters seem so important i mean the main characters dwight jim pam michael uh andy andy uh towards the end uh aaron what's uh craig roberts robinson's daryl daryl yeah, he didn't get enough. I mean, there were some seasons where he was only in like half the season. Like, why the fuck was he not at the wedding? Everybody was dancing at that wedding, and he has dance moves, and he wasn't there dancing. Yeah. He gained a lot of weight, too, in like yeah. between seasons like five and six or four and five. Yeah, he, he gained in, in one of the episodes of uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, he was, he was huge. huge. You like that show? Yes. yes. Good show. You haven't even it's watched the last like, two seasons. same producer as Parks and Rec. Yeah, it's the same people as Parks and Rec. Ooh. Fremula. Ooh. I've mm-hmm. seen it. I mean, it's. I know. I, I like the show. It's good. There, uh, you had mentioned Rob Lowe being a character. When going back to the roast comment, he did a roast a while back, and Ann Coulter was on it. We all know who Ann Ooh, Coulter is. Yeah, yeah. She. I remember listening, and Jewel was on it because I think Rob Lowe and Jewel dated for a while. Okay. And Jewel was like, "The only reason I'm here is because I hate Ann Coulter." <laughs> they just they ripped into her and she so didn't bad. Laugh at herself uh, one bit. She didn't laugh at all, and none of her all of her jokes bombed People because booed. everybody realized what she was. Well, they knew what she was. Does anybody? Who else wants to watch this Sasha Baron Cohen show? I do. On Showtime. Uh, did you see anything from it? Yeah. We all, I'm sure we all saw the. The clip with the guns and everything. Yeah, the Republic, him getting Republicans to read that they should arm the Kindergartians program. Yeah, Kinder Grenadiers. Oh my God! I don't know how you get like some guy like admitted like, oh, they got me, they set me up, they pretended. Joe Walsh. Yeah, ex senator program. I was getting an Israeli award, and that it, it works arming kids in like uh, the Middle East with guns. So well, then the, one of the they're doing the fighting. One of the Republicans from Florida was like, "I'm not going to read that." So actually, somebody who yeah is not intelligent has and then lights somebody, on upstairs. I was reading it, and somebody under that posted, "Yeah, that guy invited a straight up like white supremacist KKK person to one of his dinners just because the guy had uh, donated money." So I mean, he was smart enough to not read off the teleprompter, but he wasn't smart enough to not you know endorse, endorse white supremacy. Yeah, but I, uh, but I still want to watch the show regardless. And he doesn't just go after like Republicans. He had Bernie Sanders on there, and Bernie Sanders walked out of an interview. That's awesome. Uh, I wasn't sure. I, I just heard about the show. I didn't see any clips till today of it. I didn't know what outfit he'd be wearing. Like if he he looks so good. He looks really disguised. I see him in two different disguises, and I'm like, okay, I kind of want to watch that just for that sake. See how well he's hidden. Kindergartens program. That's in so character. bad. They're like, yeah, I like. He was like, it. Uh, kids under five carry the extra pheromone of Blink One Eighty Two. Which, uh, did you see that one? No. It was down the Cardi B pathway. Yeah, which makes the Wiz Khalifa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. It's like, oh, they process images 400 times faster. And up until they started saying the Blink-182 stuff is when I thought it was still real. Yeah. And then I read that and I was like, oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Yeah, kids have no bias. They don't have the media telling them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Whatever. Uh, so uh, I was on the, the radio this last Saturday. Mm-hmm. And I went into the station, and it was it was an AM station, and it, it's called uh, – I can't remember what it was called. But their slogan is uh, intelligent and conservative. And I was like – I started getting texts from do, Robert. Do I just leave? Do I need to leave? I'm like – I mean, I like I have no problem with conservatives, but uh, – Intelligent people, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking rile you up. It's, it's, it's more what the climate is right now. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, I don't know. It is a but it, what it is, is they do local programs on Saturdays and Sundays. So that's why I was on there. But they have Joe Walsh, the guy that said he got got. He's there Monday through Friday morning. He's That's a syndicated radio guy. <laughs> Prime time slot. Yeah, he used to be a senator, a Republican senator. And now he's a gun rights activist and uh, nice. a radio Obvious. personality. But I, I almost left, but I'm like, I can't. I already said I was going to do this. That uh, would have been, you know, the mayor backed out, so... Yeah, the mayor backed out, so I had two segments. You didn't listen, did you? I 
Well, I actually listen on the radio. Yeah. I listen to it with Anthony. Nobody could listen live. Well, you know what I mean. When it was on air. A pre-recorded interview. Wait, so the mayor walked in and walked out when he seen the conservative part, but you yeah. couldn't. The mayor's a Republican. Yeah, <laughs> he's hardcore red. Not Republican enough for these mm. intelligent people. The mayor of Santee? Yeah. yeah. Dude, we live in a red town. A very, very red town. Wait till they expand. It'll be green. Purple. Whatever color. What time are we at, Katrina? You are at 56. Okay. Minutes? Corey, you didn't get my original uh, movie. My original movie anniversary. What came out? Dark Knight. There you go. 10 years ago this Wednesday, the Dark Knight released. I like how it said it's still arguably the best superhero movie. I I guess it is arguably. Because I would argue it. Yeah, I, I mean, did. you could argue. I think we did. Yeah, <laughs> there's probably what three or four movies on that list. Well, you got to throw you got to throw Infinity War up there now, Dark Knight. I uh, put Winter Soldier up there. Winter Soldier, yeah, Winter Soldier was really good. I honestly throw Batman but, Begins up there. I like Batman Begins a lot. But mm-hmm. well, then you do Spider Man probably. Two or home, Homecoming. Homecoming. Probably, I don't know. Actually, you put Guardians up there. Guardian, yeah. I mean. I Black think Panther. Bang for the yes. Buck, Dark Knight had, like I, I think that movie, like when it came out, was so significant. I was like, that, that it was. But I mean, I, I had, I had the same feelings when I saw Infinity Wars, where you're just like, it's, it's so pace, heavy. When Avengers came out, I had the same feeling, like, okay, they can do a fucking like Avengers movie. Well, Batman was just Batman, whereas when you saw like Captain America and Iron Man on screen for the first time, you're like, holy shit. Yeah. I yeah. compared to like I don't know why, but when I saw. Uh, uh, Stannis Baratheon meet Jon Snow for the first time yeah it was pretty great those yeah. are two just big storylines I was like whoa colliding yeah you see that Macy Williams signed off as the last woman standing when she left the show oh really she was the last woman to be recording on the show that's cool which doesn't mean she's the last woman standing but she was the last no, she I showed know. it was shoes and they were covered in blood and she said last woman standing nice it's gonna be interesting yeah, can't wait for that shit. No, no, no HBO stuff at Comic Con this year, so we're not getting any of that. No banners flying. Oh, there'll be banners flying. They're just not having. I just remember, what they look. The bad lady from Ant Man and Wasp. She was in a few episodes of Game of Thrones. Said, but I don't know where. So, go back and watch. Okay. Well, I'd like to apologize that this is uh, going to be a shorter episode because I'm about to edit like 15 minutes out of this episode. Hawkins uh, isn't a real place. Okay. Hawkins is not a real place. Thank you, Katrina. You're welcome. Springfield. Uh, but July 23rd. I have many places called Springfield. July 23rd, we will be recording our charity episode, which will be seven plus hours. Uh, all the money goes to charity called Child's Play, provides video game systems for domestic violence shelters and uh children's hospitals uh god i'm so fucking out of it oh yeah uh we will be having tons of giveaways signed stuff from comic-con and uh we will have a surprise guest uh, to go along with all the other guests that we typically have so uh surprise it's me yeah it's brian huh. it's not a very good surprise <laughs> no one wants that surprise uh, i'm really I fucking hungry that surprise I'm really hungry. hungry. Yeah. Let's go. No. No, he can't. Just, you know. Why not? Because I'm going to eat junk food with you tomorrow. Yeah, we are. Yeah. You're right. going to be like deaf on Wednesday. I'm on I'm on four heartburn medications right now because I was burping up acid Dude, for like... you are dying. Yeah. I was on... I was burping up acid for like five days. Like, you know when you like... You ever burped up vomit? Yes. Isn't that a superpower? I was doing... Yeah. What was that the guy's The regurgitator? Name? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. I know what you're going to dress up for. As. I was doing that for like four or five days, and it was just hurting so bad that I emailed my doctor. He's like, "Yeah, go, go, start taking these again." I was like, "All right." I'm surprised you didn't prescribe the super late stuff. I don't know. Nobody wants to hear about this. You tried Tums? Yes. <laughs> that he lives on those. What are you talking about? I have a big container of them. In the other they're room. almost empty. There it doesn't stop. Like fruit. We're out. Ah, oh, I need to lay down.